Right, here we go. Started here in a moment. This is gonna get some here. Some. There we go. A little bit of technical glitch, and we are live, I think. And you can hear me talking in my own background. Cool. Awesome. So, hi, everyone. How's it going there? Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be messing around with this repository which is the Gutenberg Examples repository, um, where we've got a bunch of blocks and a bunch of fun stuff like, like that. Um, before we get started, I did some changes to the streaming. I'm, I'm using a different streaming software. Uh, and I took the chat off, so I think you can still see the chat in Twitch. If you can't, let me know and I'll figure something out. But if you can, then awesome. I think it's gonna give us more, more screen real estate and generally a better time had by all, hopefully. Cool. All right. All right. So, um, I, I, oh, okay. So I guess I'll just, so as, as usual, I am using WP, I'm do, using local, uh, but flywheel, wheel, it's use whatever you want. I just find this to be simple. I've used lots of different ones. I, I'm not necessarily endorsing this for any particular reason. I just, uh, it, it spins it up pretty quick and it works with an M1 Mac, which is what I'm running. Um, which is nice. Anyhow. I've got my plugin repository set up. Um, so before we get into this, um, uh, there is, if you want to contribute to this repository, you absolutely can. It'd be awesome. Um, I know there are a whole bunch of issues in pull requests that have gone a bit stale. Uh, I'm going to be looking at those after uh, this stream. Um, I know there are some folks that have some uh, pull requests and stuff and probably feel a little bit neglected, but I'm going to take a look at that and see what I can do to move those forward. I don't have direct merge access to this, but I know some people who do. So hopefully we can uh, we, we can get some stuff done. Um, yeah, so one thing about, so there is a, if you want to check this out and work with it, you absolutely can. There is a development and environment that you can just spin up. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I tried to use it and it didn't work for me. Uh, the reason being, uh, I, like I said, I'm running an M1 Mac mini and it's a, it's Docker based and some of the images don't have the equivalent for the new Apple structure. So um, that's why I'm, I'm using local, um, but maybe we can see maybe, uh, you know, if you're a Docker expert, um, doing a pull request to get that working would be great. Um, otherwise, you can feel free to use whatever you would like to use to mess with this. All I did was I created a, um, a site with local and then I just checked the the whole repo out into my plugins directory and I've set up my VS code. So I have, um, I, I do this. Uh, so th this is the directory that I'm working on, but when I'm when I want to actually uh, be able to click through into functions and stuff that are WordPress specific, uh, you have to add the whole directory in or you can't find the, the, um, the um, definitions. So that's why I do that. If anyone knows of a smarter, better, faster way of doing that, I'm all ears. Um, cool. So I actually did a pull request against this yesterday um, to update the first block. Uh, so if we look at this, the structure of, of this, we've got six blocks or well i guess we've got 12 blocks um we've got a basic version and my ba uh, sorry we've got like a es 2015 version i guess and then uh a um es next version that requires a build process um so um what is this i'm gonna remember that um well so um any questions comments concerns about anything before i dive in i'll just wait for a sec i see one person chatting looks like a gobble of 10 viewers. So silence is three, two, one. Good. Okay. We'll, we'll dive in. So, um, so what we need to do, the intent of this call is to update these. So we use the new, um, 
uh, block dot json which is well newish anyways um block dot dot json so we can see this version i i've already done that um we go to block dot json file and then in here i made some changes so we can register the block uh right here and yeah so let's look at the es the basic es next version so this one's a little bit more involved because it has a build process. So if we look at our build process we can see uh, we're using the WordPress scripts package. Um, so the WordPress scripts package is super awesome for this. Um, and so we need to update that to the latest version. So there is a part of the scripts package is, is actually this really cool um command called package update that what that'll actually do is go through and update any wordpress packages that need to be done so i am going to just cd into basic next i'm going to go npm oh first of all i'm going to check out a new branch um i'm using oh my z sh as my shell and i have a, a plugin which is like git aliases so if you see this weird git commands that aren't get commands that's that's why um so i'm gonna do next so begin first of typing all right cool anyway so uh now i'm in there i'm gonna run n e m run block dot json <laughs> yeah uh, npm run, and I think it's uh, packages update. So I'm going to run that, see what happens. And it's going to run, it's going to run slowly. Oh, there's some other stuff in sort of the root of this. I'm just going to let that run in the background, but there's some stuff in the root of this um, that uses Lerna to kind of like build all the things. Uh, I did try to run packages update from the root and it did, it failed for me. So something we might want, I might try to look into later or whatever, but so I, that's why I'm going into each um, directory and doing it that way. Uh, where was I? Okay, cool. So that's been updated. So we see we've got our, our scripts package updated from nine to 18. Um, I'm not going to commit this because um, Work commit originally, so it's probably best I don't. I'm gonna just uh, let's get it. I'm just gonna discard it because why not? Uh, delete file. Cool. So I got that in there. Great. So we we've, we've updated that. So that's the first thing that we can do. So I'm I'm just gonna use um. Oops. That commit it. All right, so now let's okay. I'm gonna go npm run in there. So we've got uh, build, start, format, and, and um, lint, and all those things. So I'm gonna run start, which is kind of like the watch command. So it's just gonna keep kind of going. So you can see we have. A build, everything seems to work. Let's jump over to oh, where is my example going? There we go. I've got to go on here. I'm gonna activate the plugin. Hopefully nothing breaks. Post. I'm gonna add that post. Um and let's just do ex oops, sorry, example. We got basic ES. Okay, so that so updating the build didn't break anything, which is super awesome. Um file hmm. okay okay cool so they are committing the build files I think because you can check out the um, zip version of, of this and so you don't have to actually build it off you want so cool so we've got to build um, all this stuff in here uh, cool so I don't think there's anything we're gonna probably have to do in here so much Although there is some stuff that, that we can do. All right, let's do this. We're gonna build, we're gonna do our we're gonna create our block.json now. Block.json is a JSON file that contains all of the information about our block. And so now we can get our, our information from the index file. 
for example, we can get the name here. Name. That is a huge notification. Clearly, I need to do something about that. Uh, cool. <laughs> so there's a title. Uh, the title of this block is drilling comma there. Um, where's the title of the block? Okay, so over here, the title of the block is going to be. We're going to do this. Okay, it's in here. Now, you'll notice that in here we're using the i18n package for translations. It's actually handled now inside of the um, the, the the entire process. But what we do need to do. We do need to tell it the text domain. Wait, text domain? Or text domain. Oh boy. Better check the other example. Uh, let's look in here. Uh, Block.json text domain. Hmm, okay. So I'm going to double check that. I don't think that's right. Block.json. Oh, uh, there we go. Text domain. That's wrong. Okay, cool. I need to do that. Text domain. And I also forgot I need to add API version. Um, so the API version is pretty cool. Is it, is it the number? Or um, but it does require that we do some things slightly differently with the blocks. Uh, if you use the API version 2, you have to use the, the block props hook um, to get the wrapping classes and everything around it. Um, so actually, I realized that in uh, the basic version, I didn't actually do that. So I didn't add a um, the the API version. So there's a pull request opportunity for anyone that wants it. Um, yeah. Anyways, so yes, I'm gonna definitely fix that uh, notification after this. <laughs> The screen, uh, yes, yeah, anyhow. Um, okay, cool. So we got the text domain. What else we gotta do here? So we got here, we're gonna do the icon and do this. Oh man, put a little icon in there. Welcome to my stream where I basically just copy and paste for two hours. Um, and then there was what the category, I think. Right. So basically all we're doing is just taking all the information that's being defined in our index and we're going to move it into the block.json. And the reason is because this is a common file that now PHP can use to register all, all the excuse me, all the things on the server side, but also JavaScript can use it to register all the things on, on the user end. Um, and so it's like a common way of getting at all the things. Um, okay, so they have an example in here, which is not being used. So I'm just going to add it because why not? Uh, so there's a ton of other things that we can add in here. And I think as we kind of move along, we will get into more of them. Uh, these are the ones from here to here are all the ones that, that we pulled out of here. I added, like I said, I added the API version. And I added, didn't I, I added, I didn't add anything. But one thing I am going to add is this is the editor uh scripts script and what this is is this a path to an, a file that we need to, um that is going to be enqueued by this block so it's a it's relative to the location of this we're, we're going to go build the because this is because the, there's a build directory here and we're going to go for index.js so index.js <clears throat> and so this this makes adding blocks and queuing blocks pretty easy, but there's also sort of like an added thing in the middle of it that um, is hard to track down if it's not working. Oh, thanks, Rich. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so, okay, cool. So then we have all that stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually import it um, because we still need it for register block type, but because we have it in like this common place, I'm gonna put it, um, I'm, I'm gonna use it in here and I'm just gonna use it by doing this. I'm gonna say import, um, I'm gonna call it JSON, <laughs> JSON, oh my gosh, JSON from, and I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna block.json. Okay, so now that we have JSON, 
I can extract out some things. I'm gonna take the name and I'm gonna take uh uh Take the name for sure. I messed up that format. One second. No, I haven't. Okay. I think we're gonna abstract out the name of the block from JSON, and we're gonna replace that down here. And then I'm going to do. I'm gonna use like the the rest op. Um, I think it's called the operator. So basically, what this is gonna do is this this destructures name off of JSON, but then it it gives me a variable called settings, which basically includes the rest of it. Does that make sense? And then now I just have to do this. Uh, spread operator. Yeah, uh, it's the opposite of the, yeah, it's kind of, it, it's like the spread operator, but it's like, so the spread operator would, like if I were to do like, I'm gonna go like whatever, const, um, oh gosh, I cannot type. I'm, like if I did a, like a new object here, right? And I said, I want to spread settings in there. That would take whatever the contents of setting is and put it in there. But in this context, I think, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure with this, this is going to be, because I've destructured name out of the JSON object, this is gonna be everything else. So it's like, it's the rest of things. So I think they call it the rest operator. It's like, it looks exactly the same as a spread operator, but it kind of operates a little bit differently. Someone with, who's better at JavaScript can absolutely tell me that. Is it really necessary to import the rest of the JSON properties into the JSON? I've only been using the name. I don't know if it's like strictly necessary, um, but I do it because I think I've seen cases where like if you were to look at the block registration on the user side, like if you were to do like get registered blocks or get blocks or whatever that, I can't remember what the selector is to get the, the blocks that the, that the server's aware about, aware of, it may not show you some of these settings in, on the JavaScript side. So just for sake of, of completeness, um, I do it. Uh, if, you, if you're not, it's clearly working. Um, there's just maybe some edge cases that might be worth diving into actually. Um, but anyways, so that's of course sort of what, what I'm doing. Um, there. So, anyhow, it's not sure if it doesn't hurt. I guess. Yeah, thank you. Um, yep, yeah. I mean, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. No worries there. I'm just going to spread settings, use the spread op operator there for settings, and then what this, and then we have an edit and a save property, um, which is pretty straightforward stuff. So, now, okay, cool. So that's the now, I, uh, so let's, let's run this. Let's see what happens. Should have this working. Let's do a quick refresh. That. Oh, I broke something. <laughs> what did I break? Let's see. Oh, example ex nest. Okay, so, all right, so you see we got this weird, this thing's full width now, it wasn't doing that before, and the reason it's not doing that is if you inspect it, you can see that it doesn't have like any of the wrapping stuff, any of the props, the class names, all that stuff that like makes it work with Gutenberg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the use block props. Um, where is it here? We're gonna do that, we're gonna pull use block props from here, uh, we're going to import it from the block editor. Here, import the block editor. Then I'm going to just do something like this. I'm going to call it block props. Use block props, and you can pass some. You can pass uh, things in there. Like if you want to use a custom class name or anything like that, you, there's actually some some things that, that you can pass in here. But all we have to do now is we just have to use the spread operator for block props here. So what that, that'll do is that'll put all those extra classes and everything that, that we need in there. What's the uh, first thing? I just assume that there's any hooks in PHP Ultimate. A client. It's an interesting, I, I don't know the answer to that for sure off the top of my head. It's, that's definitely an interesting, uh, proof of concept to kind of see how that works um, because I know that like you know we're we've been doing this for five minutes and three different people have been saying three different things so it's like it'd be good to know for sure definitively if one way or the other so maybe that's another stream I 
don't know. I just don't know. Um, uh, all, right, all right, so where am I here? So, okay, cool. I'm going to just save this so I don't want to keep rushing it every time. So hopefully I do this, and then now the block should be where that go. Oh, boy, did I break something? Oh. When did that, did that get overridden? What happened to the styles? What happened to the styles? Maybe I need to reverse that. Let's try that. Oops. So, block pro. Uh oh. I'm gonna break. What did it break? Oh. Okay, so I wonder if we need to pass that style property to block props. I think that's probably what we have to do. Oh, no, that can do that, though. Um, last name. Okay, I think we need to get better documentation here for block props. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. All right. Okay. So that seemed to work because if there's a style, it's going to get overridden by that. I wonder if we can do it. Let's try this. So you can pass certain things, like I said, the, to use block props, like namely style. I, I, or sorry, class names. I, I've used that, but I've never used style. So I wonder if this is going to work. Does anyone know? Looks like it worked. I think you pass it to block props. Yep, I think that's exactly what's happened. So that's that's cool. Now we can use this here. So awesome, I learned something. Now, there is a way to use block prop. No, no, no. Um, oops, no. Where was it? All right here. And the save, right? Um, An example of it be use it in the in the save. There we go. Ah, there we go. Use block pops dot save. I don't write a lot of static blocks. This is like new to me. So I'm gonna do this, and then you think I can just do this again? Let's just Let's see what happens. All right. Like this to block up. Yep, totally. They give you specific, but they're probably good to do it that way for things like custom. Yeah. Oh, that's true, Rich. Yeah. You can, you can do it that way too. I think I'm going to do it more verbose, just so, because this is like an example. Um, but you can absolutely do that that way. Um, for sure. Lost my train of thought there. Okay, so. Uh oh, I broke something. I don't want to break. Look. Oh, I know. Do I know why? I don't know why. Let's get rid of that block. We're just maybe running into weeds from uh, break. I think the error that that we got there was just because we were like in in the middle of an edit, um, and. It doesn't, it being Gutenberg doesn't really like, like it's styles. Didn't get any styles. Oh, well. I'm literally making this up as I'm going, I have no idea. Um, this is going to actually work. I have to save that. Let's see, update. Okay. Didn't. Hmm. So maybe I do have to do it like the same way on the save side. Hmm. Sure, I like that. Um. Yeah.
Okay. So what am I doing wrong here? Uh, did that never, did that not work at all? Uh, find up here. Hmm. Block styles defined here, and these block drop stuffs. I wonder. I'm gonna I'm gonna try your way there, Rich. Let's see if that changes anything. Um. Yeah, please. Okay, so I'm gonna update this. Do refresh. Hmm. So... That's super weird. Hmm. Let's just for the sake of wait a minute. See why that's happening. Okay, that's affected. Change some things. Oh, okay. It does work, but it doesn't like it when I do. What props? I wonder if I just have to do it like that. Oh my god. Because this should override anything. Error, yeah. Okay. Update. Do, do, do. Okay. Okay, well, that seems to be working there now. So, that's really interesting. I think, I like, I feel like I should be able to do the same thing up here as I did down here. I wonder, I wonder if I can pass Yeah, I was just thinking that, Rich, and then just call the dot save on it. Is that what you're, what you're saying? Something like this. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Rich. I wouldn't know what the hell to do. These block pops. Yep. Yeah. And then... yeah, that's in the edit though. I'm so so that makes sense. Yep. So I, so I, I I was doing that here, which is this. And then the the only thing is, it doesn't seem to want to do it here. And passing it to save seemed to have no no effect on. It. So I wonder if like passing it like this would do that. Because why wouldn't it? It's the save method that's part of using. Look at the example over here again. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get rid of this. And where am I? Okay, I'm going to brush this on. Oh, oh, there you go. What's this? Oh, sorry. One second. I'm going. If you ever run into this error, uh, which is completely unhelpful, um, go into your WP config, wherever that is, and add some. I have some debug constants. So this is the thing that you want. If you put that in there, um, all of a sudden your errors will start to be readable and useful. I think I'm messing up with. I think hooks is the problem. So. Doing the whole 
think the conflict is, is doing your styles while block props is for it. Let's try it. Okay, so we don't have our styles there. Here's the function. Serializer. Huh. Okay, so this, the edit part is working exactly how I sort of expected it to. The, this part is not, it seems the only way to get the styles in, um, like it's, it's working here. It's just not working here. And it has to do with this dot save method, I think. So, I mean, I can get it to work by doing this and passing block or not block. What is that? It's the block style. Right, that that seems to work. Let's let's check that. I don't know if this is just maybe just like a limitation of the API, or maybe I'm just like doing it wrong. Which is there's a forty seven no sixty eight point three percent chance I'm doing it wrong, um because this is how it is. Um, so um yeah, so that's interesting. Okay, cool. So I think. You need the you need style in the dot set inside the dot save like in here. Is that what you're saying, Rich? Well, let's try it. Uh, well, there you go. We'll save object. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Why didn't that that would that work before? You think maybe it's because I was defining it and and doing this. So like basically this, right? Select. Save, style, object. Okay, cool. See, this makes way more sense. It works. And I just put a new block in. As, uh, the other thing you'll notice as soon as you put script debug in, you'll get a whole ton of errors that are not related to you. Okay, which is a lot of times. All right, well, that seems to work. Awesome. Go team. Fantastic. <clears throat> yeah, I think maybe I was, uh, I think I, I was maybe refreshing the page too quickly. This is great. Uh, this is so nice. This is a very, I, I don't know, I, I haven't used use blockpops.save very often. And so this is, uh, is really cool. It's a nice little like consistent API. So good job to whoever wrote it. <laughs> Cause everyone's looking for my approval apparently. Awesome, cool. So, okay, so that's the block. So it's still working. Everything is is doing great now. The thing, the next thing that we have to to um, the next thing that we have to change is in the index.php file. Um, yes, uh, high five, thread one. Where my camera is, high five. Thank you. Uh, okay, cool. So the next thing that we have to do is we're going to change this. So this is totally correct in the way that you would probably do the way that you would have done it before um, before register block type, then register block type from metadata, and then register block type again. Um, and so, yeah, so all we need to do now is we just need to, we don't, we don't need any of this any, anymore, um, because all we have to do is call register block type, uh, which is right there. I'm just going to steal that. So we just need to go, uh, re register block type and the, the, the basic, um, so it takes two parameters. The first is like the path to wherever the block that JSON is. And the second is an array of potential arguments, uh, which we don't, um, I don't think we need, uh, in, in this case. So we are, so the block that JSON is, is in the same directory that we're currently in. So I, I I'm just going to do dir. There's a shorthand for, for that. And then if we just, just for sake of testing, if I just comment this out, hopefully the block will still load. It doesn't, oh, it did. So the block, block works, right? So we should see ES. Next is still registered, it's still there, it's still all good. Um, so you see it's really a lot simpler now. A lot, um, sorry, I don't have, I need, I clearly need to get some PHP CS 
and um, some linting added here. Uh, so if my formatting is a little off, I apologize. But you can see that like we've just replaced whatever one, two, three different function calls to get this to well, it's not a function call, but to get this to work. So what happens behind the scenes is register block type does all of these things. It looks for certain assets. Um, so I'm going to just delete this for now. And yeah. do that and get rid of that. Okay, cool. So yeah, and one thing to keep in mind, if you run into issues, if you run into like, this isn't loading and I don't know why, like for me, like 90% of the time, it's because this path has been wrong or been slightly incorrect. It's a little bit tricksy in the sense of like, I don't, you know, like it makes sense because where this file is, it's going to go in this directory into the build directory and find index.js. Um, so that's the first place to look. The second place to look is to make sure you actually have this magical file here called index.asset.php, which is, um, is generated during the build process. Um, it is, Created, uh, so there's a there's a Webpack plugin called the Dependency Extraction plugin. It's part of the WSP scripts package, the WordPress scripts package. And its job is to look for imports uh, from packages such as blocks, block, anything basically with that, and there's a few others. Look for those and convert those into um, accessing it off of the WP Global. So if you look in here, you, and you just type WP, you can see that there's a WordPress global that, that's available in here. And all of these packages are, are available on that. So for example, components is here. Um, so like, what are we pulling up? Let's, let's, look at, let's look at blocks. All right, we have blocks. If we scroll down far enough, you can see register block type is in here somewhere. Register block type right there. So what the dependency extraction plugin does is it takes this call, it turns it into, something a little bit different if I can find it. It's, yeah. Um, no, where is that? Oh, right here. That's not super readable, but basically what it's going to do, basically what it does is it turns that into something that looks like this. Const, so it takes the register block type, and it goes equals WP dot blocks, right? Which is totally a valid way of doing it anyways, because that's going to be there. So that, and that's, that's what that does. So it, but in part in doing that, it takes any references to any of these things and adds, adds its dependency to the list of dependencies that your, that, that your script is going to load before, sorry, your, your JavaScript, your enqueued file is going to load before this index.js. Did that make any sense? I feel like I was mumbling like crazy there, but um we look at the way that it, it, it was done here you can see that it's actually doing that here as well so we have this is the build thing it's going to get the dependencies it's going to get the version and it's going to enqueue the file it's going to give it a name do all this stuff and now this this one called just just does all of that inside of there any questions about any of that any random mumbling Enqueues the script and reads it from WP. Uh, yeah, so it enqueues the script, loads its dependencies first. Like it basically runs WP in enqueues script, gives it a handle, and then sets the, the, the dependencies to this array. So all that stuff is, is, is going to be in the array, or sorry, in the dependency portion of the WP in enqueues script. And then it's going to put the version in as well. And then your script itself will actually reference like the built file will re re will reference things off of the global instead of the import, which is why you don't need to add any of those packages to your package.json and why you don't get errors when you're trying to, in to Im import them. Why am I getting an error here though? What'd I do? Oh, that's it. Um, yeah, does that make sense? Um, here. I do here. Right. Okay. Cool. So that. That. So. Um. Still built. I 
Okay, so I think that's pretty much done. Did I miss anything in there? All right, so I guess we can probably commit this. Lock that chase. Okay, eight. Um. All right, I'm gonna just add all that. That, I'm gonna push the branch up. Cool. All right, so let's look at the next one. I'm going to, uh, so just switch over here for now. Check out. Master branch, feature. So what's the next one? I'm just gonna do these in each each branch. Yeah, I'm gonna do a pull request for each one. Zero two style sheets. Anything about that one? So we'll take a look. Style branch there. Cool. So let's just. All right, so we got editor CSS, we got style CSS, and we got a block.js file. Interesting. Okay, so block.js. So this one doesn't have a build process, which is fine. Um, and all this is doing is. What is this doing? Oh, okay. So it's just in, it's in queuing some 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 styles to go along with this. Okay, well, this one's pretty straightforward. So the thing we need to do here again, let's add a block.json. And let's go into my block file and grab the name out of there. But this one, because there's no build process. It's not really a slick way of, to my knowledge, anyway. It's not really a slick way of like um, using, really like pulling the JSON into JavaScript file. Maybe I just don't know JavaScript well enough. But I'm um, happy to see if anyone has any suggestions. I'd love to hear them. But um, we're still going to need this for the the server side re registration. So we're going to take the title, not the name, title. Uh, yeah, title. Wait, what do I call it? Title. And then icon layout. Okay. Icon. Can't remember. Three. Layout. Come again. Personal. E. And then lots of examples. Examples are pretty neat. Um, you can actually, if you've never used one, um, the examples will actually show you an example in the uh, block inserter, which is kind of, um, but there's not really much to show um, with these. I actually, hold on, let's go. So it does show you the example. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an empty object because there are no attributes. That's why, because so if you needed an attribute, so say this one you wanted to have like a, um, like there's an example here. This is example controls. I'm assuming that that hello world is a message that, that you can type in. So they probably pass that as the attribute, but we'll get to there hopefully if we get there today. Anyhow, so that's my block.json. So this is quite literally doing uh, just a few things. We have, we want to load the, we, we want to load the block dot js file so we need an editor script for that script yeah. and again it's a file so we're going to say file and then it's going to we're just going to look for it in the same directory so it's block dot js not comma js block dot js and then <clears throat> in here so this is this actually has a couple of other en entries that, um that we, that we can look at specifically these these ones down here so um if you remember when we first started working with blocks before all this register block type happened, 
when we were enqueuing things, we had different hooks. There was like register, there was like enqueue block assets. I can't even remember the name of the hooks right now, but there was like include enqueue block assets. Um, and there was a bunch of hooks that basically allowed you to enqueue things only in the editor, in the editor and on the front end um, for both styles and scripts. And that's kind of what these entries are. So editor script is gonna load this script only in the WordPress admin. A script is gonna load I believe it loads in the WordPress admin, but it also loads it on the front end. And editor style and, st and style do the same thing, but for styles. So we're gonna use those. Um, and so we're, we're gonna need to do um, editor style. I just literally had the page in front of me. Let's take a look. Editor style. So this is this should load the style sheet here into the block editor. So again, it's a file. And if you were, if you had a build process, th these would just point to your, your build file. I was gonna... Huh. That's cool. I haven't heard of that yet. Neat. Uh, so I'm gonna go editor, tor.cs, uh, and this I assume is going to be. Let's take, a look. Let's, sit, let's take a look at what this is doing. So we've got this is loading a script style Loctite. So this just looks like it's loading everything everywhere. Oh, I see. All right, I'm going to, let's take a look at what this actually does. This is probably a better way. Styles, got this, I have the editor in green, I'm gonna update that and then if I run this, in the front end, it... okay. So clearly we wanna show that this loads on the editor side and this loads on the front end. Oh, I see what they've done. Okay, well, you're registering the style, giving it an array, uh, giving it a um, dependency of uh, this. And if that doesn't exist, it won't load. So that's why it doesn't load. So we can do that. We, we can still do that. We'll just have to do it. So in editor style, we'll do here. And I wonder, does it? Hmm. Let's see. Then we'll do style. So I'm wondering if now if that's this isn't gonna work. I wonder if style's gonna load it on the front end too. Or sorry, in the admin too. Go style. Okay, and again, I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to DQ. I do <clears throat> and again we're just gonna pass the three that we're in. I'm just gonna see what it does. Okay, well it's not loading it, so why isn't it loading it? So black register block type, block that JSON, file, block that. Hmm. Okay, so that's strange. So I'm not seeing any any console errors. I'm not seeing so I this happens all the time. So what I like to do is look in content. I got Kutenberg examples, style sheets, loading these. Right? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Okay. So loading the editor CSS is loading the style CSS. 
It's all there, but not the JavaScript one. Why can't I find the chat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is, ex I know exactly why this is happening. When you run register block type, it behind the scenes, let's see if we can look at it here. So if we look inside a register block type from metadata, which is basically the way we want to be. What we want to look for is we need to find the, it's looking for the asset.php file. And if it's not found, it won't load it. So that's why having it, the build process as part of your work is probably the way to do it um, because it just handles all that for you. So this isn't working because it doesn't have a specific file. So I'm gonna just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fake one for now. Um, so it would be, it's usually called index.asset.php, I believe. Look up in here. Build, we've got index.asset.php. So I can just literally grab this just for the sake of doing that. Put it in there. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna give it an empty array for now and then just leave that. So I don't think this is going to work, and I have a theory as to why, which I will share in a moment. Let's just make sure that this is not working. Okay, look at the example. Yeah, so you see there's still no styles. So the reason being, <clears throat> this is based on the name of the file that is being loaded. So it's looking for block.json here. Um, and I think if I change this, to block.asset.php, it will it will now. Work. And I hope I'm. Yeah, there there, it's working there now. So that's a gotcha, a big old gotcha. If you're going to be doing this without a build process, um, just be aware that you need that file. That file doesn't exist. Will not load your JavaScript. Um, yeah, that's not entirely clear you saw that like like i didn't get any errors i didn't get anything i just like i don't even know actually let's before i make that blanket statement let's look in because i have wp de debug let's look in there uh there we go i did a script okay perfect so that is telling me that it's not there which isn't exactly true because it is there um so you you can get an error at out of it. Okay, cool. So that's good to know. There's nothing directly in the browser though. Like it, there's no console log or no console error that I, I, I saw. So something to keep in mind that, yeah, that if that's not working, I would check there, but it's definitely, it's definitely kind of a harder bug to track down. So anyhow, um, so we have that in there. Where am I now? This so the block asset. So we need to manage these dependencies manually at this point. So if we look in block.js, block .js, block .js, you can see what are we pulling things from? We're pulling things from element, we're pulling things from i18n, and I think that's it. So we can just go wp element. Usually the package name is just wp dash prefixed with the name of the package. Um, sorry, the name of the package prefixed with, I, with the wp um, dash. Oh my God, I can't type three letters. And then the version, the version usually is changed every time that you build it. So you may want to come in here and add, um, <clears throat> add something. Every time you make a change, you may want to do that. This will help with caching. Again, it's a very manual process. So I don't know how much further along it gets you. Um, cool, so let's see what happens here now. So we've got this working, right? We're loading, we're loading our stuff, are we? Okay, let's do this. Look at the style sheets. Okay, we got green. Can update that. Come back over here. We got the red. So it's working. It's working just fine. Um, right. Block that JSON. So you know what we're not doing here though is I'm not using API version two. I've never used. I've never used. A hook. Um, I wonder if we can't. Does anyone know off the top of their head if you can use hooks in here? I guess it's just JavaScript. Like I'm wondering if I can do that and then use the block props hook. 
which um yeah well let's mess around find out um do that you know. See how much uh twenty fifty uh use block props and that where is that? The package is on the Oh right. It's on the Oh my gosh. Where was it block editor? Anyone? Either? Uh... Block editor. So Dot editor, I think. Editor. So that is where that. We have that passed into our closure there, or iffy, I guess it is. We're gonna. Editor. editor. Um Okay, so I'm gonna add the eight two up here and just break your nothing like learning something new in front of people. Okay, so API version two. So this should give me that weird broken brokenness. Let's well, I can taste it in this picture. Oh, right, right, right. Neat. Right, so that looks about to be some, what I expected. Um, so let's now round with... Same. Okay, so I think what I can do is this. I think I can do that. Let's see. Because this, I think, you know, so that's the element that we're returning. These are the, all the attributes and everything. So if I just pass that, the class name, that should wrap everything, right? Let's see. Oh, okay. Where did it encounter? Use block props is not a... Function. Oh, you know why? I bet I know why. Does anyone know why? Anyone? You have to do this. I think that'll work. Work? Here, you just stop. I don't know if this is going to work. See that? Oh. You. Okay. Is that not the right? Hmm. I wonder if that's not the right uh, hand. Oh, I wonder if it's. A, let's. What's does anyone? Nah, it's probably, it might not be the right hand. Let's see. Um. You know where I can find out? Add it in the branch. Um, and uh, look, WP block editor. Let's try that again. Hmm. This is this is why doing it automated is the way to go. The whole block editor is still using block props, I think. Am I? You're probably right. Let's see. Let's look at my 
perfect code here. Use so. Oh, you're totally right. I am so sorry. Good. Look at that. Mario, glad you're here. And I don't mean that nearly as a sarcastic. Passing the whole block and I should have used it. You are 100% correct. Who let me stream in front? Um, all right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Ah! Yay! If, I, if there was a way of kudoing you, I would. Thank you. That's, uh, that's exactly right. Good job. Fantastic. Okay, so then I need to do the same. Actually, I, I do need to do the same thing down here, uh, but there's no things. I'm not going to pass the class. I'm going to just say, yeah, here, let's save. I think. Save. Let's see what that works. You did help. You are. You're my favorite. I'm gonna just get some new coffee. Anyhow, okay. Hmm. Coffee. <clears throat> uh, okay, cool. So let's put that in. Yeah. Stop sheets. Okay. Is anything I'm doing wrong? No. Nope. So I'm gonna run this. Looks like everything it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so we used, we updated, oops, I do. Um, did I just change up there? No. Okay, cool. So I think that's it. I think that's all we have to do. So we're using, let's, let's just do a double check. So we're using API version two. Um, we're passing, we're loading the script this way. We're loading the style, that, that, uh, the, the editor style, the stuff that's only loaded on the inside. Um, and then the style here. Now I think what's, I think that we're, this is a bit of an exercise, um, because the, the class name is really what's driving this. So if you look, we've got a class, we've got, um, I guess that's going to be probably the class name, right? Where is the class name generate? Props.class name. Let's just passing the. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so now I can just get rid of this stuff again. Oops. Okay. So let, let that loads that. And I think we're good to go with this one. I'm going to state to you. Um, I'll push that up. And make a pull request out of that shortly. Um, cool. So we've got through two blocks, which is probably not as many as we wanted. Um, did, I've got to, thinking about maybe another half hour or so. Do you want to go through and is there any particular block that you we want to see in here done, maybe? I was just kinda of gonna go in the order, but some of them might be more more fun. Right word, but uh if not, I'll just be gone. Cool. Go on then. Um here's the editable. Okay, this one is an editable one. So let's see what it does. Oh, let's check out. Sorry. And I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so this block. All right, cool. So we're gonna do the example, and this is what editable. So that's that's this one. So this is this is a message to you. Yay! All right, update. It looks like in the front. Okay, so it's just it's. Just spitting out a message. It looks like it has some slightly different CSS. Well, why is that? Does this combine? Okay, yeah, so we're doing some similar things here. We've got a CSS file on the front end. We've got a CSS file on the back end, or the admin. We've got, we're loading this stuff, script. 
Right. Okay. And in the block.js, it's all pretty cool. So this is the ES2015 version. Okay, so let's start by, oh, let me cut for this. Oh, three out of them. Whoa. Okay, cool. We got them now. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So first thing we do, we're gonna create a block.json. This is getting to be pretty re re repetitive, but you no, know, that's cool. Name block is the same. Here. All right, this stuff's we've we've seen all this before. It's all very straightforward. Um, this is the next the thing we haven't seen next is so there's tons that you can do with that. This is basically how blocks save their information. Um, so I'm just gonna grab the attributes off. There. Attributes are way object, I'm sorry, it is an object. This is the name of the attribute. This is the type of the attribute. Um, this can be number, this can be string, this can be number. Source. All right, so this is going to look for a p tag. That's the source of this. It doesn't matter. All right, and then we'll just we'll grab the example. So this is the example that I was talking about before, where it's add the example um, block has attributes. You need to tell it the attributes that to display. So it's gonna it's gonna here the attribute followed by the And for that. Okay, cool. So that's it. So that's our block.json. We've got our example. We've got our attribute. So this is so if you look at the way the attributes look in here, you see we've got <coughs> the type validation, the value source. Uh, what do I source is children? Even in is it even wrong. Hmm. Well, there's some documentation in the here. Okay. What this is going to do. Okay. So this is going to be all the children in, in updated display. So if we look at the way that, um, what am I trying to show here? Let's just get back in. Um, no, it's not okay. It's just saving. Okay, cool. Anyways, um, all right. So I've got the block.json. Uh, block.json also needs to have what it needs to have editor script, which is file, which is. Yeah. Um, then we've got editor. File. 
think there's a that's in there and then we're gonna, we're gonna add just the regular style it's gonna be fine he does he says okay so that this is this is setting up our block we're gonna have our load the script it's gonna load the style it's gonna load that stuff but here we can test that by just commenting this all this goodness out and then passing um yeah directory so again this is the path to the json file wherever so hopefully um i haven't broken anything here. doesn't ow remember what happened remember why because i i just remembered we don't have because this is, doesn't build process we need to have the um assets file in there so Remember, it has to be the same name as the file the JavaScript we're loading, like before the extension. So let's be block dot set dot p inside of it. Let's get the page file assets. I think it's called. Um, no, it just returns an array. Okay, I'm just gonna do this right now. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna pull out all of this just for now. Okay, so that should get it loading, at least. It might load in the wrong way, but there it is. Okay, so that gets us loading again. Okay, so we have that. So now let's look at here. We see we have element 18, 18n, and the editor. Packages, past, and blocks. I need basically here. That in there, yeah. and add. I want to say editor because that's rich text. Field is yeah, editor dot rich text. So rich text is a component that allows you to time um, save it and do those things. So this is all fairly straight. So the rich text component has an on change. Um, which um, I find I find doing it like this extremely hard to read. I mean, if if we have time, I'll do the editable ES next one uh, next, and it'll it just seems so much cleaner to me um, to sort of uh, read it and understand what's going on. But basically, you need this. This is a the property for set attributes is called whenever the content of the rich text change, and it's being wrapped. So, um, yeah, cool. All right, so that is loading everything. So the only thing I'm not doing here is the API. So let's, let's just make sure this works. And it's working, it's working, it's working. I'm gonna that okay so this it's clearly working no problem stuff we don't need anymore our spacing going there let me just commit this JSON to all right cool so now we got that so let's start messing around with the API. Uh, you don't need to use API version two, but I think it's the recommended. It, you can use version one. Uh, it's just um, uh, version two is gonna get better. So again, we need to get, um, we need to pass our item here. So it's, uh, here. And then we'll go bar use props equals bar props. Cool. We'll have this down here. So now I'm going to figure out how we're going to do this. So 
the element that's being returned is the rich text. So, hmm, we need to pass all this stuff. We also need to pass block props. Let's just see what happens. Editable. Is that it? <laughs> okay, it's in there, but it's not selectable because of the props issue. So, um, wonder if I can just do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We kind of want to pass it to here, don't we? So. We want to do something. I wonder. So. Hmm. Let's try this. Block props. I wonder if that'll do that. Um, that should return an object. So what I'm hoping is going to happen here is that I mean it's going to get used block props. It's going to get added. All these things are going to get added to the used block props, and then it's going to just it's going to just this is how I approach the majority of my <laughs> with hopes and no idea that's going to actually work. And it's that so let's go I'm gonna go editable okay so what's up I think that worked that didn't but that's okay is that okay is that okay I don't know okay uh no because I need the the block prop save Save. Hopefully. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Just be uh, update. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Cool. That was. Actually, painful, painful, painless. Um, that was really cool. I did. I, yeah, great. So uh, let's see. This example still works. Go in here. Go to. Oh, there we go. So still, still working. I think it's going to be using it from there, but rather than let's find out. Change that. And reload it. Doesn't. Load the example text from. Um, it loads it from. Doesn't load it from block.json in this case, which kind of makes sense because it's it's this is used on the server side. That's something to keep in mind. Um, well, cool. okay. So that one's. Shit. Um, version <laughs> two. Um, Okay, well, I'm just about at noon here, so if um I'll leave the last I mean is there anything that anyone wants to talk about? It doesn't have to be this. Does anyone have any things they want to bring up or chat about? Um one thing that we talked about last week, and I don't know if the person who asked the question is here today, um, but there was a question about like getting um like IntelliSense and stuff to work on the JavaScript side. And I had a really good conversation with one of my coworkers um about that you might know him as MCAS on the um, internet, um, but it's, it's Marcus. Um, and he had a really good point. Uh, so anyways, the reason I asked is because when we were looking at create the create block package, there was a, um, there was, I'm going to switch to chatting. Um, it was, uh, 
there was a there was a entry for in dev dependencies for one of the component for the components package. I, I, I think we were all kind of wondering why why would that be included there because you don't use it. The dependency extraction plugin doesn't actually use it. Um, it gets like I said, it gets turned into like a, um, an access to the WP global. So, um, but I think it's I think there, but it makes total sense to include it in the development environment because then you do have you know all your sort of um, all your auto completing and all your IntelliSense part of VS Code. So I used to be like, well, you know, don't include that stuff. But now I'm kind of sort of leaning the, the other way um, because it seems to be um, a good idea and it's not going to bloat your, your build. Um, so yeah, I don't, I'm not sure who asked that question last week, but you're here. Um, that helps. Um, yeah. You know, I think, I think I'm going to pause here. Um, well, I'm thinking a lot. I'm going to drop off here. But thanks, everyone, for coming. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, we didn't have any of the same audio issues that I had last week. Um, I'm going to be uploading this to a YouTube channel at some point, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Um, and uh, I will be doing a this weekly, probably the same time, Thursday or Friday. Um, if anyone has any suggestions or anything, um, I do have a kind of like working repository for, um, actually I think it's on my Twitch channel, uh, but I will link it here. This is, um, this is the, um, that's the repo for this particular stream. Um, none of the code that I wrote today is going to go up there. It's all going to the other repo, but, uh, if you have anything that you want to see, or if you have any requests or questions or comments or Concerns, you just want to tell me that I need to learn to type. When people are watching, please do so on that, um, on that repo. And I'll uh, I check it daily. Anyways, so I'm gonna drop off. But thanks everyone for coming, and uh, hopefully see you. Next week.